guys i am so sorry i'm such a mess i've been outside um with my children we were out there cleaning out my van my minivan after all this time i am finally going to sell my minivan <laughs> Um, my kids are getting older. My son, he has his own little car that he drives now. Um, he, and he's going to be going off to college. So it was just time. It was just time for me to go ahead and sell it. So wish me luck. I hope that I'm able to get it sold. I went ahead and we went ahead and detailed it out, cleaned it out really good. Um, mind you, it's been, let's see, I got that van in 2012. Um, it's what 2024 now so <laughs> I've had it for a very very long time and Lord I just prayed that it blesses someone like it has blessed my family I remember when I first got that minivan I was so excited and I was so happy we've been literally across the United States in it so <laughs> um, I'm gonna miss my little minivan but I'm definitely hoping for bigger and better things to be coming to me and my family in the way of blessings we'll just call it so um yeah i just felt like it was in my spirit time to sell my van but anyway it is not it is not a video about selling my van excuse my laundry yes that is my unfolded laundry on my bed <laughs> now that i look at my video i definitely have that in the video but that's okay this is my real life i am a mother i am it's a sunday i am trying to <laughs> still implement life you know, as well as do my ministry. But of course, I had a word from God that came to me and I just wanted to share with y'all. I hope everybody's doing good. Sorry if you hear the kids in the background. As always, it's a Sunday. We're all enjoying our little time here. I think the kids are on spring break this week, so they don't have to go back to school, but I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get this out as best I can. But anyway, hope everybody's doing good. Let's go ahead and get started. So I entitled this video women empowering women because i feel like that's a lost art especially in the this day and age we've got to be team women you guys and i'm not speaking against the brothers of course i'm team brothers as well and team men as well um but i feel like us women really have lost the art of empowering each other and helping each other and uplifting each other and being team women for each other, really standing behind each other and coming together as women of God and really helping the people that the other women that we see that need to be helped or helping each other out. There's so much jealousy and enviousness and and and, and just cruelty, I feel like, in the women's community towards each other and the animosity towards each other that really doesn't need to be there we need to be especially us older women or elder women elderly women we need to be examples we need to be teaching the younger women on how to be and not only the younger women but the women in our family our daughters our nieces uh, our you know our grandchildren you know we need our, our we need to be our great grandchildren of course I pray that we all get to see our great grandchildren and our great great grandchildren <laughs> but um we need to be those examples showing those women how to be in the Lord how to be good women of God how to take care of their households how to take care of their children and I feel like that's just been a lost art you know it's been lost women like I said hate each other entirely too much right now and we need to go back to being team women and what made me think about this was the Catherine situation, of course. And God, I pray that she has a, re you know, a good and speedy recovery. How sad, you know, I've always admired Catherine, um, you know, the princess, I'm talking about the princess of Wales, um, how she's been diagnosed with cancer. It has come out that she's been diagnosed with cancer and how mean some people were to her and about her situation. And I completely respect where she's coming from from a from a woman's standpoint from a mother's standpoint yes she's the princess and I know she's a public figure and all of that but you know she she's a mother she's a woman and we need that privacy we need that strength to find within ourselves to even go through something like this you know she even said in the video that it has come as a complete shock to her and her husband you can, I can't even imagine you know, if that were to happen to me and my family, where my head would be, where my heart would be, 
um, like I said, the last thing I would be thinking about would be the media, you know, I would be thinking about my health, I'd be thinking about my family, trying to help them through this, trying to be strong for them, trying to figure out how I'm going to get through it with them, you know, trying to figure that out, you know, it just, it, it would be so hard. And then, of course, trying to, of course, be strong and praying in the Lord for my strength to help me every single day with this. It just would be so hard. And so um, as women, we definitely need to come together and support each other because we never know what each other's going through. We never know what each other has been through, you know. And so we need to come together and uplift each other and empower each other as much as we can now, guys. We've got to. It's it's just such a time as this that we need to. I have a few scriptures to share with you guys on this. And it comes from Titus. It comes from Titus um, chapter 2. And we're going to start at chapter 3. All right. So likewise, teach the older women to be reverent in the way they live, not to be slanders or addicted to much wine, but to teach what is good. Then they can train the younger women to love their husbands and children and to be self-controlled and pure and to be busy at home to be kind and to be subject to their husbands so that no one will malign the word of God so elderly women we need to be teaching the younger women younger women we need to be teaching our children we need to be of course good obedient women to Christ first good and obedient women to our husband taking care of our households taking care of our business you know so that that can pass on to our children and to our children's children because that's part of what's happening in the world you know kind of women we've just given up you know we've just given up and we've really become selfish and gone after our own selfish ambitions and our own selfish flesh and needs and wants and whatever that we've forgotten that we have these children that we're raising up in the world that also need help and guidance and strength and wisdom and self-control and you know they need that they need that and we need to be putting the work into them to do that you know otherwise the world is just going to keep getting crazier and crazier and crazier and crazier you know we I can't even imagine what the world is going to look like now that our world looks like it does today for our children if we don't step up to the plate and and help them you know and and teach them give them what the most important thing that they can carry throughout their life is and that is the word that is their faith that is the holy spirit to for them to open their eyes to it you know and and to be good wives and to be good husbands you know to be good mothers, to be good fathers. We need to be teaching them that. Every day we need to work at that every single day. We can't give up. We can't lose hope. You know, we can't give up and we can't lose hope. And so, guys, I'm just, I'm just, I'm asking you to at least come in agreement with God and pray for him or pray to him if you don't know what to do as a parent, you know. If you don't have all the answers, because there is no book. I don't care what book has been written. There is no book that can teach you the perfect way to be as a parent. It's the hardest job that I ever had to have is being a mother. But it's the most rewarding and it's the greatest job that I've ever had. And, and I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful that God has blessed me with my seed and my children to teach them the way, you know. And that's the best thing I can give them is their faith, is their hope in God. And one day that they won't depart from that, like the Bible says, and they will come back to that and they will know what to do with their families and in their lives and in their obstacles when they come along, you know, that's the best thing that you can do. And that's the best thing that you can give them. And don't lose hope. Don't lose faith because it is the hardest job ever it is to be a mother, to be a father. But it's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So that was my message for today. <laughs> I am now, my husband, he's out with his, I think he's out with his cousin or something like that. I don't know. He's having a little bit of him time, which is fine. I'm going to get in the shower. I am filthy. <laughs> Me and my kids have been outside in the hot sun all day. I probably look even darker than I was. I, I've been out in that sun all day. Um, and I still got laundry and I still have dinner to do. So I'm going to get to that, but I definitely hope that you guys have a wonderful Sunday, a wonderful and a blessed Sunday and continue to hope in the Lord and be encouraged. Bye. <laughs>